Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a haul, but this time, rather than like a branded haul or like a clothing haul, I thought I'd just combine together some of the things that I bought recently. I just like randomly came up with this idea the other day. Like I just, I don't really know what I was thinking, but I just thought like, I bought some things recently that I quite like, but they don't fit into like a Zara haul or whatever. So I thought I'd just chuck them all into one haul. And I don't really know what I'm gonna call this haul. Like in my video plan, I've just called it random haul. But I don't know what I'm actually going to title this video. But basically I've been shopping to like Bista Village. I went to Bath um, for my birthday weekend and things like that. So I've like picked up a few things, bought a few things recently. I thought I'd chuck them together into a haul. That's what this video is going to be. Um, anything that I can link down below, I will link down below if you want to like buy any of this yourself. I'm not be blabbing on anymore. I'm just going to get on with it. Because that's probably the easiest way for you to see what this video is going to be. Is if I just get on with it. But yeah, I'll leave my Instagram link down below. And I shall now get on with the haul. I'm going to start with the thing that I'm most excited about. If you've seen my birthday vlog you would have already seen this but I got this now I have been wanting this for so long but it's literally been out of stock everywhere online I've been looking for the past few months because I was going to ask for it for Christmas and I was going to ask for it for my birthday but both times I couldn't because I literally couldn't find anywhere that you could buy it from and then when we were in Bath my mum and I were like just walking past this shop and it had loads of jelly cat in the window and I was like oh look at them so then we went closer and then in the background of the shop I saw like they had all the bags hanging up and I saw this and I was like please tell me that that is the bag version so basically it's a jelly cat like coffee cup but it's the bag so it's got this like um strap attached to it and then the top like opens up and then you can put stuff in it and it is so childish and it's definitely aimed at like five-year-olds but i've just been obsessed with this ever since i saw it and it's neutral as well so it works really well with my outfits and I do actually think I'm going to wear this out the house. Like, I haven't just bought this for it to sit on a shelf. Like, I am actually going to wear this. I don't know where I'm going to wear it to, but I am going to wear this. Like, look at his little legs. Like, it's just so cute. It's got a little smiley face and I just couldn't resist. So, yeah, I don't know where I'm going to wear this to, but I will actually wear this. Maybe even for, like, a coffee date because it's quite appropriate. And I just think he's adorable. So, you probably will see him on my Instagram in an outfit post at some point because... I feel like he deserves that. Next up, I got this coat from Miss Guided. I saw this on someone's Instagram, like they did an Instagram post. And at first glance, I thought this was a Gucci North Face like um, collaboration coat. And then I realized it was actually from Miss Guided. Now, like I do feel like at the first glance, it might look like the Gucci coat, but like when you look close up, you can tell that it's not, but it's giving me those kind of vibes. And I quite like that. So it's just this big oversized puffer coat. It says Miss Guided outerwear there, like embroidered in white. And it's a really squishy comfy material i got this in a size a and it fits really well um i'm a size six so it's like a nice oversized fit it goes really tight on like the cuffs there and can you see what i mean like it does sort of look like the gucci one the only thing i'm not a big fan of is the fact that it's got a hood like i do like it when coats have a hood but i like to be able to like remove them so you can have it without the hood but this one is like permanently attached but other than that i absolutely love this and it was like 30 or 40 pound i think which is a lot cheaper than the north face one but it's like giving the same sort of vibe then at the start of january i saw that anthropology were doing like a january sale i just randomly went on there like i never look on anthropology but i think i was looking for a mug or something and then i happened to stumble like stumble upon the sale and i saw this mug i have an obsession with mugs by the way it drives my mum absolutely insane um but i saw this mug in the sale and it was meant to be 14 pound and it was in the sale for five pound and it's this giant mug and it says g on it it's like a little um like woolly hat sort of thing and it's personalized and then it's just like green on the inside so it's meant to be like a cozy wintry sort of mug but it's not just christmasy because it's like there's nothing actually christmasy on it it's just got a woolly hat which is just like winter and i just thought that was adorable and then i also saw this mug in the sale again for five pound this was meant to be ten pound this was the only mug left it was the last one in the last like letter so like there was no other letters in stock the only one that was in stock was a g and this was the last one so i just had to get it um i'm not sure i'm actually going to use it as an actual mug though because this like handle is slightly annoying like do you know what i mean but i thought it's like um a pen pot or even just like sat on the side it could look quite nice and i like that it was personalized so we have those two 10 pound for two mugs from anthropology i feel like is a pretty good bargain and then also from anthropology i got these um they're just these two photo frames this one i showed in my 21st birthday haul so if you want to watch that i'll link it down below um but they are basically like they i don't know if they had any others but the new york one is the one that i got for my 21st and then i got this one which is a london one um this one was 24 pound it's slightly bigger than the new york one and it's got like 
like the London Eye on it, Tower Bridge, Big Ben, the Underground, like just kind of London things on it, but it's like a ceramic frame with like kind of almost it looks like sketchings or drawings of like gold detailing on i don't know if i'm going to keep this one i might return it but i just thought like it's a nice photo frame and if like i got a nice photo when in london it would like fit really nicely and then finally from anthropology i got this which is so random it's a tea towel and i really don't need a tea towel but i couldn't say no to this she was quite expensive as well oh my god this is £20 i've just seen on the tag i thought it was £10 which is expensive anyway £20 for a tea towel it's a joke but look at how cute this is. It's an A to Z of little dogs. And it has a golden retriever on it for the G. And I mean G for Georgie, G for golden retriever. It just ties in. And the golden retriever is quite like big. Which I don't know if they've done it like size reference. Maybe they have. Because golden retrievers are obviously big dogs. But I like how he's like kind of central. Like taking pride of place sort of thing. Um, and I just thought that was really cute. I don't really know what I'm going to use this for. Because I don't almost want to use it as a tea towel to clean dishes. Or like to dry them. I don't really know what else I can use it for, but I just really liked it. Then I popped into Brandy Melville when Josh and I went to go see Mamma Mia at the theatre. We just popped into Brandy Melville beforehand. So I picked up a couple bits. First off, what is that in there? Oh my God, I've got Josh's beanie in here. I don't know if he knows that he's missing this, but we literally went like three weeks ago and I've only just like gone through this bag. Josh, I have your beanie in here. If you want that back you have to message me i mean he is my boyfriend he's obviously going to message me but like i don't think he knows that he's missing that oh well anyway um as i was saying in the bag i got this hat um it says new york on it and why i'm going to new york for my birthday don't want to be too cringy with like new york slogans and stuff but i just thought this was nice not just for new york but just for like all the time it's a nice beige color and i want to start like wearing hats and stuff more because i feel like they can like round off an outfit really well um and this was 13 pound and then i just got a few jewelry bits as well so the first ring i got is this little like smiley face kind of signet ring um i love wearing silver jewelry it's the color jewelry that i wear so this worked really well and that was five pound i don't know how well you can see that but i just thought it was a really cute smiley face and then along the same sort of lines i got this smiley face one but this is like an elastic ring with like fake pearls on it and then it's got like a yellow smiley face again i don't know how well you can see this but this was three pounds so i got those two and then the last one i got is again a little silver one um, and it's just got this little heart on it and i just thought that was really really cute again don't know how you can see that because i don't know if it's focusing and that was four pounds so i just got a few little rings which i do need to start wearing i was meant to wear them when i went to bath for my birthday weekend but i completely forgot um so i will start wearing these soon especially now that i've done the haul and then i might as well go through the other things in this bag they're a bit random i got this little badge from brandy melville that just says new york on it because i thought i could either put it on the back of the cap or josh had a really good idea of like getting um like a badge thing for everywhere that i go and like putting it on a tote bag or like a like canvas bag but i've been to so many different places and i'd want all of them to be included on it like past ones as well so like that would cost me a lot and also i don't know if i'll be able to like find um like a badge for like haiti for example or where else have i been that i might not be able to find a tag for um I can't really think off the top of my head but like I've been to a lot of places so I'm not sure if I'm going to do that but I just got that badge randomly anyway and then I got this Cadbury plant bar even though I'm not vegan I just really wanted to try it it's a new Cadbury vegan bar made with almonds so we'll give that a go I would give it a go right now but I'm really thirsty so I don't really want to do that because you know like when you're thirsty and you eat chocolate it goes a bit gross then I went to Vista Village the day after my birthday a lot of these are things that I bought around my birthday but they like weren't birthday presents um so I popped into Lululemon and I got this top they didn't have it in any smaller sizes than um, a size 14, which I think is a size UK 10 or 12. Um, so it is quite oversized, but I don't mind that because it's just like for going to yoga and stuff. Um, so I quite like them to be oversized, but it's such a soft material. And it's this white tank top that just says Lululemon on it. Um, so yeah, it is a bit oversized and like the armholes will be nice and big, but I quite like that with gym tops. Um, and this was £24 rather than £38 because it's from Vista. And like I said, the material of this is so, so soft that I just kind of couldn't really resist. So I got that. And then this bag was free, which I was absolutely chuffed with. They were like, what colour bag do you want? Because they had loads of them. And I was like, I was not expecting to be asked that question. So I went with the white one with like the black detailing, which actually matches the top, which was unintentional. But yeah, I got a free reusable bag. How cool is that? And then carrying on with gym wear, actually, I did get this from DKNY at um, Bista. And I did get, again, like a really cool reusable bag, but I used it the other day for something. So um, I haven't got it in this haul. But basically... 
I saw these and these are definitely a Marmite piece. They're like these pink like pearlescent um, gym leggings and I feel like these are something that you'd wear when you were like seven or something. They're very unicorn-y um, but I kind of like these. Like I, they're, they're one of those things that I either thought I was going to love or I was either going to hate but I quite like the way that they reflected in the light. Like when I first saw them I was like they're disgusting but then as I thought about it, like, I don't know how well you can see that, but they're, like, rainbowy, And I thought they were really cool. And these were... I think they were meant to be £75. Then they were reduced to £55. Then they were reduced to £35. And I got them for £9. So I thought for £9, like, I might as well get them because I kind of like them. And I feel like they could look quite cool when they're on. And then lastly from Bista, I popped into the White Company. And I actually forgot that I got this until I gathered together the stuff for this haul and i just saw it sat there and i was like oh yeah and this is just one of their room sprays um this is the fig tree one and i just thought it smelled quite nice and also i love the packaging of these and i thought like in my office just spraying this every now and then to make it smell nice in here would be perfect and these are normally 16 pound but at vista they're 10 pound like i'm pretty sure every time i've been there they're always 10 pounds so they're a really good price and then i had a look on urban outfitters and i saw this like oh my goodness me it is the world's smallest uno game so this is the size of the pack it's absolutely tiny and there's actual cards in it so you can actually play it and when i got my jacquemes bag my mum was like what are you gonna fit in that like it is the smallest bag ever and now i can say to her that i can fit a whole game of uno in there because it is so tiny like i always bring tiny bags out with me so probably like a normal size pack of uno wouldn't fit but this I love Uno, so this is perfect. This was £9, and I actually am so excited about this. I can't wait to show Josh this, because we love playing Uno, and I haven't shown him this yet, and it is so cool. Like There are actual real-life cards in here. And then, I got the other things from the range as well, but I might not keep these. This one's a bit boring. Um, It's the world's smallest game of Monopoly, and it is very small, but I just don't feel like it's as fun, because, like, the um places are so small that you can't even see them really so i just feel like that's a little bit silly whereas this is actually like useful like you can actually play that if you know what i mean but this i think is a little bit impractical and then i also got the world's smallest game of operation because if this game is not hard enough make it even smaller um so like it is literally like they are literally the whole games but just tiny versions but i feel like this will get a bit boring after the first one or two goes this however is like gonna forever be amazing so i'll probably return these two but i just thought i'd show you them anyway this one however is gonna be coming with me everywhere and then also from urban outfitters i actually got this magazine um this was 14.99 but it's like a proper nice magazine like the cover of this the material feels so nice it's the kin i can't say it it's like king kin folk like i know how you're meant to say it but the words just aren't coming out right but it's basically that magazine and it's so beautiful inside like it looks it's so my aesthetic basically um and i just thought it looked really nice um like on display and stuff it's the mediterranean issue i think it's their um like I can't remember what issue it said it was. Oh, fall 2021. So it's like not just every month they do it like seasonally. Um, and it's got like New York and stuff in here, which I thought was quite cool for my birthday. So um, I got that magazine basically. And then the last thing I've got recently is quite boring, but I got this Urban Decay set. Um, but mum and I basically wanted this spray. I've already got this, but it's running out. And then I told mum to try it and she really liked it. So she wanted to get it. And then I found this set for two. And the price of two is literally like four pound more expensive than to buy one of them so we bought two they come in this box and then you get this box inside so we bought two and we're just halving the price which is a bargain but basically if you don't have the urban decay setting spray you should get it because it is so good like you spray this on and your makeup will literally last all day like even when you're wearing a mask and stuff like it is insane this spray so that is the last thing i got which is so boring like i said but i thought i might as well show it anyway because if you don't have this you should get it um but yeah that is the last thing for my random haul um yeah it was a bit random to be honest but i just thought i'd chuck all these bits in a haul together and show you them so i hope you enjoyed it give a thumbs up if you did subscribe down below if you haven't already and if you want to see more random like collective hauls like this and let me know in the comments because if you like it then i will do them again but they were a bit random but i hope you enjoyed it anyway bye